Seven-two. All right. We're not. Wow! We got shot out of the lava and right back into the lava. Great. <laughs> Where'd the music go? Let's be more careful there. Okay, the lava doesn't go too low, thankfully. Let's run with a shell. Play with fire. Well, fiery red. Skin tone, shell tone, scale tone. And in the pipe we go. Now it's all green! Hmm. Are we supposed to be shrunk so that we're inside a Koopa? And those are supposed to be... I don't know. Possibly stem cells of other Koopas? I don't know. Maybe it's not a Koopa. Maybe it's a giant snake. And nothing comes out of that block. A giant snake with quite the... Yes, quite the rose stomach. It's the stomach acid. An interesting pose for a Koopa to pause on. And down we go. Carrying the shell with us. And there'd better be something in there. Well, at least there's an invisible coin block here. This makes me think that this level is probably going to have another Resnor in it. Let's run. Let's collect another coin. And keep going up. Be careful here. Okay. Coins. There we go. Nope. No boss. We're safe. Okay. So that's seven two. Now for seven three. Which I don't know. Last one was rather hot. This one's icy cold. Yeah. Guess you wait five minutes and it'll change on you. Anything inside that? Nope. But I guess by hitting them I brought them back to their normal temperatures. Anything in that pipe? Nope. Well, this is a red level, so I'll suspect something. I'll suspect that I should be able to get up this, but I wasn't suspecting a ghost. Eh. Let's not go through it. Let's go over it instead. More of these Koopas. Wow. I suppose from the from creators of invisible coin blocks will eventually come the invisible banana peel. Responsible for how I slipped like that. Okay, now in this pipe we got the dino rhinos, we've got a low overhang, and ice. Lots and lots of ice. Lots and lots of ice on the brain. Okay, it's up high now. Using a lot of time. Let's run. And it turns out there is nothing beyond the purple pipe up on the surface. This is the route that you need to go. Unless there's another route for a secret exit. Okay, another purple pipe. Another end of the road. And because of this... I suspect we gotta go up here. Kind of a giveaway. A nostalgic giveaway. There's a key right there, and the keyhole right here. I don't think we're too far from the normal exit, beyond that rising floor. I might want to thank him for making this level icy, or this room icy, because there's a chance it allows me to slide, slide across the floor and make me move faster. Okay, 22. So we can move out of the potential jokes. And get, get to a safer star count. Unless 91 can be associated with anything bad. 7A now. The Valley Fortress. It's frozen over, just like the other. 
It's gonna come crashing down, isn't it? Yep, everything crashing down. Out to get me. This fortress is possessed. Oh, just in time. A feather from this. Which I promptly lose. <laughs> we'll keep running. Good things are bound to happen eventually. Just in time again. Uh-oh. Yeah, I knew that was not safe. Let's try and find a safe spot this time. Right here. Wait for it to go up. Now, let's go. Wait for the thwomp. And this looks just barely... What a tease. Well, at least I know one spot where it is safe. Right there. So let's stay here. Because beyond, it doesn't look too safe at all. Except right here. And the bouncing Koopa. Womp. Womp. Just give me enough time and I'll make it past you. No need for you to worry about me. I worry about you. You too. Now for the final smashing. Not to mention a saw being thrown in my way as a distraction. An obstacle too. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Gotta wait for them to go down this time. Hmm. Small cracks where it's unsafe to stand. Jump. And again. Up the pipe, and I suspect... No, not yet. But now. Another Resonor. Yep. Yet another one. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping that by Master Quest 8, there's... There are slightly more unique bosses. Hmm. Yes. Well, fighting Resnor is always... Yeah. Yeah, the fight against Resnor is definitely fun. Especially with the breaking bridge. But... I don't know. Just seeing it over and over. Over and over like this. Hmm. Not so much. Well, anyway, let's go into 7-4. And straight into the piranha plant in this frozen castle. This frozen ghost house. And some frozen mushrooms for me. Hmm. Dude, they wouldn't do anything if they were really frozen. Probably hard as a rock. Ah, now that. The blue line. Peace. We can go left or we can go right. Yeah. Maybe left is a secret exit. Can I go down this pipe? Don't know why I couldn't go down before. Well, that's one exit. And now for the other exit. Perhaps a really cold mushroom and a really hot mushroom would not make Mario Super Mario now, would he? It would just keep him normal. At the right stale temperature, that's when he becomes Super Mario because maybe it's somewhat mutated. The mushroom itself figures out a way to remain a normal temperature. Okay, now we go into 7-5. And that's probably some water. Yeah. This is a more normal temperature. Temperature suitable for mushrooms to mutate so that Mario can become Super Mario. A pipe. Should I go up that pipe? It's another bonus room, so let's just turn around. And immediately to the halfway point. Ah. Two fire flowers now. 
Hoping to keep my feather, but whatever. Speaking of feather, one right there. Climbing. Time to climb. Another form of mutated mushroom is the classic Goomba. Some of them are imposters, some of them are just the second form of a mutated mushroom. Some of the mushrooms are also imposters. Unfortunately, they couldn't figure out a way to turn red, nor to get the skull off of their head. So, we knew to avoid them. Okay, 26. Looks like another bonus game. Wouldn't it have been funny if this bonus game turned out to be the outside one in the Valley of Bowser? Last place to expect an outside bonus game. Well, that means just four levels to go. Front door, the back door, 7-6, and Larry's castle. Well, maybe five more. Or possibly even just three more. One to five more. Could be any order you want. Since I've already unlocked the back door, I could just go there and beat the game. Possibly. Or maybe it's been changed so that it doesn't end the game. We'll see. Got so many Koopas here, and somewhere we gotta expect a secret exit. Try to jump up there. Ah! Forgot there was still a Koopa in there. Now, let's uh, drop it safely. Better yet, um, let's head up here and screw that one up. Oh! Come on. Wow. Wow. I made it. So let's take this with us. With, and apparently not under. One of these two pipes. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go down. Do we take this with us? We got chased by a piranha plant while we were heading out the pipe. Again. Jump. Even then I could use this key for buoyancy, I suppose. Again. Is there another power-up somewhere here? Yep, a fire flower. Any of these pipes have anything? Well, need to pick up my mushroom again, my mutant mushroom. Kick some other mutant mushrooms around. Well, by the time, by the time they look like that, they probably figured out how to evolve into a fauna state. Jumping the pipes again. Suspect a keyhole somewhere, but apparently I don't get it. But I do have exactly 100 seconds remaining in the level. Okay. Man. This could be a mystery as to where the secret exit is. I think I see how it is now. Gotta press the P switch here. And my mistake. It's not a mystery. It's, it's obvious as it usually is. That unlocks our path to the Star Road. But now let's go to Larry's Castle. Another glowing red castle, which makes Mario thankful to be wearing shoes. Same with the pipes. And wow! There he actually got a blarg in his castle. 
Gotta be extra careful here. Eh, the beetle's not too careful, but still somewhat. Okay, can I hit that? No, I can't reach it right now. Spikes. And another blarg. And another blarg. Blarg, there are so many of them. Blarg, so many blargs. Blarg, I just lost my other power-up and got a mushroom instead. Eh, but no time to waste. Let's keep running. Where are we now? Okay. Good thing that it was spread out, as otherwise I could have died. Jumping again. More. Ow! <laughs> but I got a little bit of revenge on it. Whoa! And it got a little bit of revenge on me. Oh, the revenge of Super Mario Bros. 3 and a pipe detour like this. Oh. And now, speaking of classic Super Mario Brothers, we go even further back. <laughs> These walls. They'll haunt me for eternity since the, since the first time I entered World 1-4. As well as the music itself. From the NES. That music was definitely disturbing for the time. The All-Stars version, not so much, somehow. Don't know how it's not as disturbing. Yeah. Probably because less detail, in some cases, sounds a bit louder. Oh, and now we got Larry. Finish it off. Finish it off almost flat. Just leaning a little bit to the left, like maybe a one degree angle. But, whatever, Larry's gone. Rescued the seventh egg. And as for level, your castle's probably not that level anymore now that it's smashed into pieces. Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in castle number seven. All that is left is Bowser's castle where Princess Toadstool is being held. Bowser's Castle next. There are three ways we can do it. One of which I know does not beat the game. The other two, they possibly could, but I have no idea if this one will do it yet. Well, I guess we'll decide which one to do next time.